It's not uncommon for 90 Day Fiancé franchise cast members like Mike Burke to feel used by their foreign partners who mostly value their money, but fans are growing tired of the poor pitiful me act. Though it's true that many of the foreign partners are only interested in money, they're not exactly sneaky about it, and cast members who can't pick up on the extremely obvious signs are unlikely to get much sympathy from viewers. Mike of 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days is the latest so-called victim of such a scam. His relationship with Colombian fiancé Zamina Morales is on the rocks, and Zamina has become annoyed and repulsed by Mike's clingy behavior, neediness, and poor personal hygiene. She brutally rebuked him in a recent episode and told him she doesn't love him. But despite the many times Zamina has called out Mike or expressed disinterest, he is unfazed and still wants to pursue a relationship. Though he has his supporters, many fans are getting sick of Mike always playing the victim. Dot fans say the writing is on the wall, and if Mike can't read it, that's on him. It's obvious that the only reason his and Zamina's relationship works is because there is a power imbalance, and it's completely transactional. In a Reddit thread, fans pointed out that it was Mike who switched the location on his dating app to Colombia, and not Zamina targeting him. They accused Mike of using money and privilege to get the kind of girl that he couldn't in America. Mike was also called shallow because there are single and available women in his area, but they're not as conventionally attractive as Zamina. Mike thinks he deserves better because he's a nice guy, but being nice and meeting the bare minimum of competence and decency doesn't make you a catch and doesn't entitle you to a relationship. Dot Mike isn't the only 90 Day Fiancé cast member who has been called out for being a sex tourist. Franchise stars like David Murphy, Lisa Hamm, and Jorge Nava spent thousands of dollars on their foreign gold-digging partners and expected unconditional love in return. It was obvious to their friends, family, and anyone watching that their relationships were transactional, but they continued on in blind ignorance. Viewers scream at their screens when these cast members overlook glaring red flags, and it causes their sympathy to dry up. Most of them know deep down that they could never land a partner like that in the U. S, but they fail to actually think about why that is or what their partner actually sees in them. These cast members use their money and economic privilege to attract a partner, then act surprised when the partner sees their money as the main reason for dating them. Of course, the foreign partners aren't completely innocent in all this. Cast members like Zamina are definitely using their partners for their money. But at the same time, it's extremely obvious what they're doing. Mike is just the latest example of 90 Day Fiancé stars who pursue relationships with foreigners because they could never land someone that attractive or young in the U. S. It's difficult for fans to feel sorry for them because it's so clear that their relationships are based on a financial transaction and at some point, cast members like Mike have to accept personal responsibility for being an active participant in that kind of relationship.